Hello, right, I'm in the darkroom this afternoon and what I'm doing is developing a film. This is an Ilford HP5. Now, they don't have the HP5 formula which is ID11. So instead of using the ID11, I will be using Ilford's Ilfastool 3 at a more concentrated resolution. So this is going in at... I think it's 200 mil to 600 mil of water. This, this is where it gets difficult. And I'm using a stop and a fix. So first off, we develop it, and the developed fluid is in there already. You can see that, it's horrible. Um, that there is my stop. And the stop that we're using today is the Kodak Professional Stop which is 1 to 4 and the Unifix which is 1 to 4 so 1 to 4 parts now I'm going to spool up the film get it in the development tank and yeah this is all done in the pitch black so you won't see anything so I'm going to do that quickly and then I shall show you the end result which you know is going to be pretty quick um, well not the end result so I'm going to show you the process after that Alright, so this is my dark uh, tank. Now the tank screws on tight and it's a light tight fixing with a rubber cap which I have no idea how to get off because it's the first time I'm using this one. But that rubber cap comes off which means I can then pour in the liquids one by one after I've washed them out. So it's going to be developer, wash, stop, wash, fix, wash. And then the film will be viewable after that. So yeah, the film will be viewable. And then it goes in the drying tank for about 45 minutes to an hour. So yeah. Oh, and they throw away all of their developer. Whereas the rest of the world would sort of keep it and use it again, but that's fine. Right, let's get this going. Right, so the film's now in the tank. And what we do is start it. And we're going to be waiting for six minutes on that clock. And you shake it for about ten or twenty shakes. You leave it for a minute <coughs> and then you repeat the process. So yeah, this this is the long part, we're only up to like twenty nine seconds. So six minutes of this. And we're gonna skip through all that shit. So it's now pitch black in here, you can see I've got these little red lights to see by but you can see exactly how dark it is. I have a little while left in the pot. I'm about to get rid of the developer, do a wash and do a fix. Um, I'll show you in the light in a bit, just to show you what you're actually doing. Bit of health and safety advice when playing chemicals, gloves are a must. I keep forgetting to put my gloves back on, but um, let's go from starts. Developer is a really bad irritant, and it will cause dermatitis, the same as the stop is a huge irritant. This stuff is like madly like refined, that stuff just needs so much water in it. When it's got the waters on it, it's not as bad, but when you're playing with the chemicals, make sure you put gloves on. This stuff will burn your hands, will cause them to itch for days after. And if you're not careful, dermatitis, bleeding of the hands, cracking of the hands, and all those problems that come with it. Although, technically, with everything that's in here, I could probably make a bomb. Not that I would ever suggest that, Mr. Government Man, whoever you are. This is purely developing a film. But I'm sure this stuff's explosive when mixed together, probably. Crap's it. There. Oh. Yeah, when we finish with the whole developing stage, these things, I like to think of them like shark teeth or something. Or dogs, canines. You clip them up when you put it into the drying room. Yeah. Right, we're at four minutes now. So I've got another two minutes or so. Bugger, I haven't broken that. Two minutes or so, the developer's still in the fix. So I've turned this on to preheat it. Because it takes about 30 minutes to dry. But it's good to stick it in something that's already warm so as it doesn't curl up as it's drying and go all funny. It's a bit annoying when it does that. 
I'm really nervous about what's done in here because this film was exposed on a box browning so it's either going to come out see-through, it's going to come out black or it's going to come out with images or it's going to come out with partial images I'm hoping to god there are some good images on here because I have no idea box browning is a bastard of a camera to use and it requires so much time and attention that's why Victorian photographers deserve a hell of a lot more credit than they get nowadays and my worst fear has come to fruition I said that it would probably have nothing on it well, I don't know if it's the box browning or the fact of the developer, but there is one completely see-through film. Bollocks. Officially the most pointless exercise in my adult life. <sighs> All the silver nitrate's gone off the film, so there's nothing. Having spoken to the technician, I did nothing wrong, yay! Well, a little bit wrong. This stuff requires a lot of maths to get exactly right. So I may have overdeveloped it because I'm still thinking in ID11, not Ilfestool 3. So yeah, me and the bottles don't get on. But I now have a see through film drying. And I'm going to stick it up on my wall to remind me. Do not use Ilfestool 3. Get ID11. Because I ain't got a fucking clue how to use this stuff. Either that or I get C41 stuff and they develop it here for free. Da. Still waiting for it to dry. It's still drying. Drying! Drying. 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 Wet. Drying. Drying. And still see through. Fuck knows what I'm going to do with that. I think I'm just going to write in big writing. Do not trust the technicians. So yeah, that was a bit of a letdown. Especially as I've been waiting like nearly a year to develop that one film. It could be that I've been waiting a year to develop that film. It could be the problem. I doubt it because it's been in a box. Um, so yeah, tour of campus. Why not? Um, that's my studio area. So, this is the walk past. There's a library. Libraries are always interesting. Um, random people walking by. Always random people walking by. Yeah. Um, Digby Stewart Drive. Um, Digby Stewart versus Southlands. Well, Southlands is clearly the best campus because that's where I am. And that's also where most of the media department is. Like, well, most of our lessons are held there. But our studios are over here by the Digby Stewart area. There's the library. Library. Not very interesting. It's just full of books. In his books. Yeah. Um, there's some accommodation over there. Accommodation looks pretty pretty. Pretty. Um, job center. And um, there's security campus over there. Zoom. Yeah, that's security over there. Security is great. They turn up whenever there's a fire drill or whatever, and then like, hey, do you set up a fire drill? Like, no, it wasn't me. Uh, first building, not very important unless you're doing languages or something like that. I can't remember exactly. I think it is modern languages in Hearst. Um, the huge building, I have no idea what this is called, but 
Oh, Dutchstein, Dutchenstein. Yeah, it's always good as well. There's loads of parking if you notice. And yet, I'm not allowed to have my car here. There's loads of spaces. Mm. Yeah, one big problem. Um, that's Forbes. Like Forbes accommodation. Ah, cool. There's like a couple of people in there, like you're like, and Bob. Bob's cool. Bob is cool. Bob is a very cool person. Bob is actually a girl. Yeah. Um, we have a pond. I'm not going to go to the pond. This pond's a bit of a walk, but there'll probably be like a uni tour in high speed one day when I can be bothered. Alright, going back over to Saffons. So yeah, that's Queen's Building. That's where I will be spending most of my time. Like four out of three, four out of five lectures are in there. And this is Southlands. Southlands is cool, but there's no pond. There used to be a pond, but there's not, because I filled it in. But if I zoom in, that one. That window over there is my kitchen. That's where we're going. That's Billy at the window. She's one of my flatmates. She's waving. And there's Anna, one of my other flatmates. <laughs> and that's Molly, she is my flat rep just disappeared and I'm having condoms thrown at me this is always good we have a corridor well stairs don't like stairs more stairs and I'm only up one flight it's all good get in here and again another key I've gotten over being upset about my film being broken and I've gone out and I've done some carving. Boom! Carving. I have made a little dragon. With Noz! But yeah, he's quite cool. Like he's even got a little jawline. But yeah, my little dragon. Hmm, pretty. Cool. Yeah, I think that'll do for YouTube today. People are going out, I'm not. I'm going to stay in and watch movies because I'm sad. So yeah. Bye, YouTube.